The string class is a powerful class inside of Java. And one of its methods that we're going to take a look at is index of. So what I've done here is I've created a string called word, and it's referencing the string bobcat. And if we were going to give a visualization of that, it would look something like this. Each of word's characters would be in its own cell. Now you can probably tell from the name of the method index of that it has something to do with the index. What is an index? It's simply a number associated with each character inside of the string word. It's going to start at zero and end with the last letter, in this case, which would be five. And if I wanted to show a representation of this in the code, I could do that with comments, showing a number beneath each character. And what this is indicating to me is that the first B is at index zero, the C is at index three, the A is at index four, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and see what exactly this method index of does. Index of is really a search method. What it's going to do is search for where something is located inside of a string and tell you where it is via its index. And so if I was looking for the string B inside of Bobcat, it would find it in the first index. As you probably notice, there are two Bs inside of Bobcat. Index of will only return the first instance of B. So it would return zero in this case, not two. So it'd say the first instance of B is at index zero. Let's say instead of looking for B, I was looking for C. Notice this time I'm using a character instead of a string. Will it work to search this way? Well, yes, yes it will. And it would find the C at index three. So when I print this out, it would say the first instance of C is at index three. So index of is an overloaded method which can use both strings and characters. Now in this next example, I wanna find X. And hopefully you can realize that X is not inside of the word Bobcat. But the question is, is it going to return an error? Well, no, it's not going to return an error. What it's going to say is the first instance of X is at index negative one. And if you get a negative one, it simply means that what you're searching for is not inside of the string. Now, does index of only have the capability to search for just one character? Well, no, it can search for multiple characters. So let's show you some examples of this. I'm looking for cat inside of Bobcat. Well, it's going to find it at three. Now, is it going to return something like three through five or anything like that? No, it's just going to return where the first letter of the string that you're searching for is located. And so this would say the first instance of cat is at index three. Next, let's say that I was looking for Bob. Where would it find Bob? Well, it starts at index zero, so it would say the first instance of Bob is at index zero. And then lastly, let's say that I was looking for nice kitty inside of the word Bobcat. Well, it's nowhere to be found. Just like looking for X inside of Bobcat would return negative one, so too would looking for nice kitty inside of Bobcat. And negative one simply means what you're searching for is not inside of the string. It's important to know that a string is comprised of individual characters, and those characters have an index associated with all of them. The index is always going to start at zero and count up from there. Index of is a method that returns the first index of an item being searched for. So even if there are duplicate items of what you're searching for inside of the string, it's only going to return where the first one is located. Index of is overloaded, and it can be used with both strings and characters. And lastly, if you get a negative one, it just means that the item that you're searching for is not inside of the string that you are searching. Index of is a wonderful tool inside of the string class, and it's excellent for searching for things inside of strings. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. If you like the video, please do click like at the bottom. And if you like videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Truly, thanks again for watching.